Hey, my name is Dion, and I'm a 15-year-old age group swimmer from Calgary, Canada. I recently had a swim meet up in Edmonton that was a fully tapered and shaved meet. It was our last one before the Christmas break, and in this video, I'll be going over my feelings about it, as well as what I learned from it and what I will implement into my swimming career into the future. I also have a big announcement at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Alright, so I'll start off this video by just talking about the team travel aspect of the meet. So, we traveled up uh, together as a team. I have seven guys in my group. And we all traveled up to... No, eight guys. Eight guys. We had two rooms with four guys each. And, uh... Yeah, so... One of the downsides of team travel is that even if you just have that one guy in your room that doesn't have the same mindset of you as, like, understanding that you need to, like... You need good sleep, you need good recovery to perform well. Even if they want to perform well, but if they don't make that connection and they end up keeping you up most of the night, that can really affect your swim meets. And I noticed that's a bit what happened this weekend. And um, in terms of recovery, it, it's hard to get that recovery when you're spending time with friends. Um, like I swim with these guys every day. I, I know them well and I, I want to spend quality time with them but the swimming aspect is also really important to me and finding that balance is very very hard um just in turn in terms of having my own personal time I didn't have much of that it was either spent with them or swimming so not not much time to for, for myself um the food on team travel is always interesting to see um, the first night we ate at a restaurant, that was really good. I don't know how that would be in terms of, like, just quality of food um, for a swim meet. But, my, yeah, my coach didn't let us get pop, which I, I wouldn't have gotten pop anyways. But, yeah, some of the guys in my group complained about that. And after each session we had to wait a bit extra because i always had like one or two guys doing like the 400 im or the 400 free where i'm like a sprinter i did all the earlier events so we had to wait extra time for that and then i didn't really get as much time to like nap in between sessions as i would which i didn't really get to nap much anyways because the guys in my room kept me up a little but you know that's fine Another aspect of the meet was I had a really packed swim schedule. So I had seven events, uh, prelims and finals, and then I also had four different relays. So my seven events were 50, 50 and 100 free, 50 and 100 back, 50, 100 and 200 fly, and then the 4 by 200 relay, the 4 by 100 medley relay, and the 4 by 100 free relay, and then the 4 by 50 medley relay. So that equals out to 18 swims by the end of the weekend. That is a lot. Um, it was pretty taxing on my body. But even with that said, I would say that Sunday night was my best performing night. So on the first day, it was just the 4x200 freestyle relay. Then I had 50 fly and 100 back on the second day. Um, that one was pretty good. I won 50 fly and my 100 back suffered a little. I was last in the A final, but I still made the A final. Um, second day was 100 fly and 100 free. 100 fly was a bit of a disappointing race. I ended up getting bronze, which I think that's an event I should should have ended up winning. But the other guys performed better on the day, so... I ended up losing that one and then 100 free i got fourth which was actually pretty good for me since i'm more of a butterfly than a free seller i was very happy with that time and then uh i had relays throughout all the days and i did fly on the medley i was anchor on the free and yeah i did fly on both medleys um so i'll just skip to the last day the last day i had a dirty triple it was 200 fly um i was in the a final for that 50 back i was barely in the b final and then i had 50 free in the a final just after that 
So in the morning, I felt horrible and I didn't swim my best. But then finals came around. I took some pre-workout before I swam. And then I, I was still a bit off my best time in 200 fly, but I took off two seconds from the prelim swim. And then in 50 back, I ended up winning the B final. Uh, since I, I just had a lot of energy. I, I credit it to the pre-workout, but I think it also opened up a mental shift for me. Like, um, just me thinking that I was able to do it because of the pre, um, and then 50 freestyle came around and I ended up getting silver actually. So that was a pretty insane swim for me. It was like a 0.66 best time. And I, I was actually, that was probably my best event the whole weekend. And, um, so yeah, my first three days were, weren't as good as that final session specifically. And I think I credit it to, to just, um, just taking that pre and just wanting to do well that session. So, um, what I'm going to implement for the future and what I learned from this. So sleep and rest is really, really important at a swim meet. It will be the make or break factor. So make sure to prioritize sleeping and resting even on team travel. Just communicate to everyone how important your sleeping is to you and do whatever you have to do to sleep as well. So I mentioned the pre-workout earlier. Um, I just borrowed that from a friend, but I might start taking pre-workout just for the finals of high level meats. Since my caffeine intolerance is really low, I never drink any caffeine. So I feel like that might be a bit of a booster for me. And I feel like that's something I could use in the future. Um, if possible, if I end up doing team travel again, choose the people to room with choose people that have the same mindset out as you of like they want to swim well they understand that you need a rest to swim well they understand like just stuff like that i choose people that have the same mindset about swimming as you when if you, you can choose who you room with all right now on to the big announcement guys i'm moving to australia um that's happening this january um already been accepted to a club there uh i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna continue uh filming in my races posting analysis to youtube the background is just gonna look a little different as i'm gonna be in australia so i might start doing other forms of swimming content too um i'll, I'll see where it takes me but definitely analysis i'll keep doing but my life is going to change a lot, but I'll try and keep the, the content pretty much the same. So if we look at this meet, this was my last meet with these friends, with these guys that I've swam with for a long time. Some of them nearly seven, eight years. So this was my last meet with them. So the results weren't all that mattered for me at this meet, though. It did matter a little bit because it was my last Canadian meet, but just spending the quality time with the guys and just having fun on this meet was top priority because the last time I'm going to get to do it with these group of guys that I've known for such a long time. But thank you everyone for watching this video. Make sure to comment down below what type of video style I should do next and uh, what races I should analyze. Um, it can be professional races. It can be my own races. I'll just have to make sure I have them. But make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.